Hi, I'm Mary. And I'm Brittany. And you're listening to Seriously Podcast. If you want the tea, tea, come get with Seriously. Seriously. Talk about your favorite web series. Right right here on Seriously. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Seriously Podcast. I'm Brittany. I'm Mary. And um, again, welcome back. Um, thank you for tuning in. Today we are finishing up this amazing series, Growing Up Immigrant. For those who are uh, just tuning in, if you guys remember, we last left off um, episode four. Nikim and Nicholas had bad sex. Bad sex. To her, it was good sex. To him, it was bad sex. And, and he played her hard. Hard body. Hard. Talking about you're desperate. Let it go. Let it go. Let me go. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. How, mind you, he has a full girlfriend still. Still, we haven't forgotten about. We this haven't seen girlfriend. her, but she's still there. She's around. Yeah, she's very much so around. Um, Auntie Mama almost died. She, she when, did. She did. When she was left at her her little her little date. Yeah. And she met a, a new handsome gentleman. Right. He almost knocked her out. No. Not almost. He knocked her out. Very much so. With his plates. Um, <laughs> but she's okay. She's doing well. And he asked her out. Yeah, he asked her out. Mm-hmm. And then also Ibu, um, he was still still messing around with sketchy some... Sketchy character. Ske- he's sketchy. Very sketchy. Kind of on the run. We left off with him. He got beat up. Yeah, he got so beat up. So he was kind of like on a run, if mm-hmm. you will. Mm-hmm. So that's... Um, the main thing. And shout out to the creator, Nathaniel um, Kweku. He, he keeps saying that we hate Nicholas. <laughs> and we ain't lying, though. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. We appreciate the support. <laughs> yes. Um, hopefully, he'll grow on us in these last two episodes. Um, let's just get into let's just it. Go. Let's just go. So, at this point, of course, Auntie Mama had to bring in the prayer warriors at all had times. Because... We need that. We need that. Ibu Pacif- Pacifically. Not the ocean. Pacific Rim? <laughs> Specifically needs it the most because he's troubled. He's a troubled, troubled youth. youth. He is. So we need to guide him on the path to the Lord. So that's what Auntie Mama is doing right yes, now. Yes, because he stay in some mess. And 24/7. he's bringing it to her door. You're not doing that. <laughs> this is where it stops, honey boo boo. <laughs> yes. Not here. Uh-uh. So the next scene, Auntie Mama is on this date, finally. You know, she's going out with the guy who almost gave her concussion. Mm. And he has a nice restaurant. He's cooking for her, but she's not impressed. She's At like, all. I thought he was going out for dinner. What is this? I don't like this restaurant. Like, sis. Were they going to an Asian restaurant? Did you see what she was doing? <laughs> she wanted to try something new. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, sis, what are Yes, with the Chun Li vibe. Um, so he's like, chill, all right? I have a couple of restaurants. He's the restaurant couple owner. Couple a couple of restaurants. Of restaurants. Google me. <laughs> okay. Ask about me. Yes. <laughs> so he cooked for her and everything. Real cute. Yes. Real cute. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. Auntie Mama needs this. Of course. Um, and they start talking about their exes. Mm-hmm. So Auntie Mama's ex, fiance, played her, fiance. like, fiance. <laughs> played her. Finessed. T- finessed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Took her credit card and was like, peace. He, he used that money for his kids. She didn't even know he had those kids. <laughs> and she over there getting, getting fitted for her wedding dress. He's like, girl, I'm gone. And my kids got their school supplies. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> what? So And then he, his wife ended up cheating on him with his brother. brother. I said, like, y'all belong <laughs> This is a match made in heaven. Y'all right here. share some hurt, <laughs> some, hurt some pain, <laughs> some pain. <laughs> so they can connect over this. So mm-hmm. this is good for them. But he was giving her an interview. Oh, he- <laughs> I hate that. So he- tell me something I should uh, know. You just met me. So how about you ask me? What do you want to know? Yeah, and I can answer those questions. <laughs> what what uh, what position is this for? <laughs> Girlfriend, <laughs> wife. <laughs> I hate those type of questions on dates. I didn't sign up. I didn't apply. So tell me five things about yourself. Tell me. Stop. What are your Leave me stop. alone. Leave me, <laughs> Leave me alone. But he, this guy's real smooth. Smooth criminal. Oh, smooth, smooth. criminal. Yeah. yeah. Something about him. So I hope he is what he is. You know what I mean? Mm. Hope mm. we don't have a hidden agenda. Um. So we're at the gym with the fellas, and um, Nicholas, he's big mad because. Little Miss Tanisha, the 
intern. The intern. She got the promotion mm-hmm. before he got a promotion. Yes. So he <laughs> sis stepped up. Stepped all the way up, all the way to the top. She's CEO, and he's like, wait, what? <laughs> um, so amongst all the things that Nicholas is going through, on top of that, he didn't get the promotion he wanted. But did he really think that Kim was going to give that to him after you just played her whole well, life? Kim works in HR. How is she giving up promotions? Well, she does the pay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't it supposed to be their manager that gives the promotion? It's a this different computer. type of company. This computer. This company is something different. It's a different man. type of company. So his boys are kind of like, you know what? There'll be other promotions. So they end up talking about Nakim and how he tells them that you know he slept. They slept together, and Nakim was acting so desperate. Was she? You sure? Which is it's blowing my mind that he keeps saying this. Was she acting desperate? No, she, she just wanted answers. And that's desperate to That's him. desperate. You're doing too much, ma'am. But meanwhile, you're chasing her down in every single parking lot. Like, if we're going to define desperation, I'm sure your picture's there. Oh, the right there, smiling. <laughs> smiling. Hello, <laughs> Nicolas. Desperation. <laughs> How dare you? You're telling the wrong story. <laughs> you worry about the wrong things. <laughs> so the, this other guy, he was... Telling Nicholas that the sex wasn't bad, it was because he felt guilty that, you know, it wasn't Ava. Right. So, I mean, I guess that's probably true. Everyone remembers that he has a girlfriend, but... But him! <laughs> like, remember you had a girlfriend named Ava? That's probably why the sex was bad. He's like, the sex was bad. Like, me and her, we didn't mesh well. Y'all shouldn't be meshing <laughs> at, at all. all! How about that? There should be no meshing. Unless it's with you and, and Ava. And Ava. Do you remember her, Ava? Do you know who that is? Does the name ring a bell? I think she's your girlfriend. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. For over a year. <laughs> so next scene, um, Kojo, he's on the phone trying to get his paperwork together because his uncle scanned him with his green card or whatever. And um, at this point, Ibu, he's trying to get a ride with him. I'm dealing with some high-level shit, okay? One of the guys I sold tickets to, he got cancer. I tried to chase him down and give his money back. And then one of the guys I was working with was spying on me. And then he got to me before I got to them. Started hitting me. Cops came. I owe that couple $350. Evo. Listen, let me make it right. Think about when Uncle Yeboah conned you. I've been thinking about it for the past few days. I don't want to be that guy. So Kojo's like, all right, so I'll pick you up in an hour. Yes. Um, then the fellas, after, after the gym, they decide to go to some party. And the minute Nicolas walks in... He peeps Nakim and Bojo making out. Making out. I said, yes, girl, move on. Move on, because I don't on. know what that guy's doing, but this one over here, uh, he's, he's here making for you. moves. He's making Money moves, moves yes. and moves. Hello, all the moves. All the this moves. is where you need to be with, because Nicholas, all about the games. So Nicholas is big mad. I Steaming. Mean, you mad, huh? Colossal mad. Who? Who, child? The, the lion, the animal in him came out. <laughs> yes! But shouldn't you be happy you told her to let you go? You said she was being desperate. Yes. These were your words. Yes. You said, let me go. Right. She let so you go. So she did. Even though you never told her to her face, you're being desperate because you're not that stupid. No. No, he, no not to her face. Text message. Text yes. Text message. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. that's how he rolls. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's moving on, and now you have a problem with it. Yes. Talking about, I don't care if I'm, not, I'm with her or not. She's not your property. What? Men have that issue. Like, they think women are their property. Say that one more time for the people Men in the back. Men think women are their property. They do. Even and if you don't want that woman, you still think that she belongs to you and no one else can have her. They could be in a whole relationship. Like, with, like, Nic- like Nicholas. <laughs> We're and never be gonna mad. forget that he has a girl. No, he forgot, but we not forget. You got a whole relationship, and you were still mad that she's doing herself. She's doing her. Mm-hmm. She's living her life. Mm-hmm. So he has a little like fantasy of him and um, Bojo fighting because Bojo looked back like, "What's up? I got her now." Warriors, my deep. Tribalism is inevitable, and I am territorial, even if I'm not with her, even if I don't want her. Sit your ass down, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> he about to do nothing. <laughs> nothing. Sit your ass down. What was he really about to do? I don't know. Fight over a girl that's not yours? When you have what? a full girlfriend. What's your life about? You know how stupid you look? So dumb. Like, how do you even justify that? <laughs> <laughs> Settle down. Settle down. 
So he's fuming. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my God. And then he turns the he looks over to his left. <laughs> Every time he's on the search for Russell, he's with a woman. Every single time. A like, woman that doesn't belong to him too. He's another one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So lo and behold, who is it? It's Tanisha. Tanisha Bay. <laughs> Okay, sis. Become an in, um, get a promotion. Don't know how to act at all. Okay, sis. But the thing is, she's dating someone else. She had a boyfriend, a full boyfriend. Is no one faithful on the show? No. Yes. So Nick gets to um, Russell because he's like, I want to leave, so I gotta go. We all gotta go. Um, and Russell's not here for it at all. Cause he got, I was busy. I came into this world by myself. <laughs> You want to go, you're free to go. Call an Uber. Call Ava. See if she can pick you up. How about check in with Ava? See if she's living. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me do what I'm doing over here. <laughs> Just go about your business. Right. <laughs> so then um, Rasil gets crazy, gets buck, and says... I said no, nah, nigga. Rasil. <laughs> Rasil. Rasil. Okay. Um, what? Who is this? He got real, like... Buck. For no reason. <laughs> and it, so Nick is kind of like, who said your light skinned ass could even say something like that? Number one, nobody even believes you that you're black. You're like 2% black. You think that you can just use that word any old time? <laughs> no, he's like, people died under that word and all, you know, everything, which I agree. Like, I don't say it. And even like in my school, I went 2% junior high school, it was two, only 2% black. And then the little white boys would always say oh, it. They and they word. justify, like, I'm saying with A, not E R. Oh. And they knew. Oh. And I was like, wrong answer. I don't <laughs> care how you say it. They knew not to say it. They would say it and look at me like. They, they, they do that. Like, don't. Like, can I get the approval? Can I? No. No. no don't cannot. do that around me. Goodbye. Mm-mm. Goodbye. So, um, Rasel tried to, like, defend it. Like, yeah. you're not even from here or something right. like that. You're African. You're, yeah, you're African. So, your, your family don't know, hasn't been through slavery. So, you, can, you don't, just, you can't justify it. He does know slavery began in Africa. Yeah, but you know, it's a it's a crazy thing because um, I have a friend from Africa. And like when I first met her, it was like um, she would say like, you know, her parents are from Uganda and they don't they don't relate to like slavery. Like that's that was a different part of Africa. So mm-hmm. people do feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. So with um, Nick and Brazil going back and forth, Nick gets a call and it's Kojo. He can't find Ebo. He's searching around the blog. He said, I'll pick you up. He said, I've been out here for three hours for yes. this guy. I don't know. So he, I think he went to go pick him up. Mm-hmm. So then um, Auntie Mama ends up calling Nicholas. Like, yeah. She called him twice, and they both were like, I'm not picking up that phone. Yeah, like, like I'm not telling Auntie Mama about where Evo. Evo is, like, missing out yeah. here in the streets. So um, they finally go home because they can't find Evo. Like, what we, like and they're like, what are we going to tell her? We're going to tell her. We're just going to make something up right. as, we, as we go along. They walk in and they see Progress and Auntie Mama, and they both look sad. Ebo, Ebo. He's at the church thing. The, 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 oh. the, the youth thing. The, the youth group. The church youth Ebo group. Ebo is dead. What? What? No, come on, Ebo. Ebo. Come on, Ebo. Oh. And did you sense it? Yeah, I did when um, Auntie Mama called for the second time. It's been three hours since anyone last heard from him. But, of course, Nicholas, he's somewhere else in the world. Worry about himself. (laughs) Just worry about himself. Like, oh, I got a girlfriend in the... (laughs) But it's always, like, in movies and shows when the person want to do right and get their life together, then usually they get... That's when God said, come on. Come on. on Which is so sad. I was sad. I was really sad. He was so young. So young. All right, so unfortunately, that's how the episode ended. Uh, Ebo is dead, y'all. R.I.P. R.I.P. Stop. Ebo's dead, y'all. And um, what were the times for Ebo, real quick? All right, let's get into episode let's six. Let's get into episode six, y'all. Oh. Episode six. Sad, y'all. It's sad. Nick is sad. We're sad. Everybody's sad. Everybody's sad right now. We'll he can't even that. tie his tie. Can't. Ebo helped him with that. So it takes him a moment. He didn't know how to do that. He didn't know how to do that. Grown man didn't know how to tie his tie. But he had Ebo before. He had Ebo. He did. No, he, he did. don't. So then he gets a text from... Biscuit head. Biscuit lips. The one that he's dating that he forgot about. Yeah. My name is Ava. 
<laughs> y'all don't know. But we remember who she is. Yeah. Um, her text reads, she says, you know, I missed your call, missed your text. So sorry about that. I was at the ER. So she was working. Mm-hmm. Um, thinking about you. Yeah. He don't care. He ain't thinking about you, girl. He, ain't think, he, he hasn't been thinking about you for weeks, honey. We're talking a good for four or five weeks. <laughs> So he has to get back to work. Um, he sees Nakim in the parking lot. Where he always Always sees her. finds her in the parking always. lot. Always. Um, she's um, a couple of cars ahead of him. Oh, gosh. So he's walking. They're walking to the same place, guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. He stops her. He says, Nakim. Nakim, like, I'm calling you so I can talk to you. Mm-hmm. That's what I got from that call. But he stopped where he was. Yeah, and you. expected her to walk backwards. Walk backwards, backwards even him. though we need to go this We're way. We're both going in the same direction. But, but let me walk back to you. Because I'm the man. You're the woman. You answer to me. You come over here, okay? Mm. Um, mm-hmm. He looks sad, yeah. you know. So she hugs him. I'm assuming yeah. everyone in the office knows. Yeah, I guess yeah. everybody knows. So she's being sympathetic towards him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, so sweet girl. Oh, my God. Even sweet. though you played me, you are in a time of need, and I'm going to comfort you. As a human being. Yes, that's just who I am. Mm-hmm. So she's like, can we please talk after work? I have to tell you something, right? Yeah. He, <laughs> he so dramatic. Oh, my God. He was like, Mm-mm. No. <laughs> no. And walked away from her. What the hell did you call me over here for? What was the reason? (laughs) What was the reason? (laughs) Did you just want a hug? Every time I think Nicholas is going to change, he goes right back to what we know of him. I'm like, I had to rewind it. Like, did I miss a part? Like, Right. Why did you call her over here? Just to get a hug? Just to feel powerful? That's... I really think that's it. It's a power thing for you. Like, you just Yes, to see, like, oh, she still cares. She still cares. Bye. She said, let's... Can I talk to you after work? No. No. Mm -mm. And just left her in the parking lot. (laughs) After what you did to her? (laughs) How you treated her? How... I really wanted her... (laughs) When he calls her, I really want her to be like, no, what do you want? (laughs) Like, bye. But she did just find out his cousin passed away. Yes. So I would have been like... I would have waved him to come over to me because I'm closer to where the office is. But she's like, you know what? He's going through a lot. Let He's me going, just, yes, let me let just me, comfort him. Let me comfort him. And he does not care. At all. Like, wow. Zero percent care. So you don't want us to like you. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Nathaniel, you don't want us you to don't like You don't want Nicholas. us to like Nicholas. You don't want Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's going to end up saying that she's pregnant. Oh, yeah. I right? Th- I thought that too. I think so. And that's why he, he knew. That's why he said, no. I don't want any. <laughs> don't want my, day, my day already going bad. <laughs> I don't want no more news. Nothing. Because why is she so like, can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? Is she pregnant. She must be pregnant. Yeah. Next scene, Cole Joe's wife and his kids come over to the house. Um, I guess it's his day. Yeah. And, um, you know, the kids are strong. Oh, so strong. So strong. They little, are. My little girl was like, how are you feeling? How are you coping? How are you said. coping? Yeah, she did say that. <laughs> they say that death is... Da, da, da. I was like, look, girl, who are you? you? What? Girl, I don't know what she's saying. I don't saying. know what she's saying. <laughs> That's what I hear. And that little boy, you're weird. <laughs> Lactose intolerant. The girl, what is she saying? Sweet girl, sweet girl. But I have no clue what she's saying. I don't want to play with her, little boy. <laughs> And then they asked for uh, money to go get ice cream. Never came back. Never came back because Kojo closed the door. <laughs> and the wife came inside. I said, no one's going to watch so the kids? no one's going to watch the kids. No okay. one cares if the ice cream man takes these kids. Takes these kids. What's Anybody happening? In the Anybody. Grab these kids. Okay. Okay. We okay. don't do that over here in um, New York. We don't. Very different. <laughs> But uh, I hope the kids got their ice cream. I hope so, too. I hope so. So Kojo and his wife finally have a conversation, and uh, he apologized and said he wanted to be there for her and the, and the kids. And she's like, that's, that's cute. Thank you um, for saying those words. Thank you. Thank you so much. But um, listen, at the end of the day, you're in between jobs and late on child support. Weren't they just separated? Yes. She didn't waste no time. 
putting him on child support? At all. So at what point does Kojo say, why would he think that they're getting back together? <laughs> if she said, we're separate and I'm putting you on child support. Where's the check for these kids that I'm watching? <laughs> I'm just confused. Why did he think they was getting back together? I'm Child's- not really sure because when she slid that divorce paper that to too. him, I don't think she ever gave the inclination that and then once I you want get something that, more. Once you get the notification that she's asking you for child support? Child support. And he's very much so like, you know, my cousin just died. Life is very short. I realize that now. And I don't want that for my kids. Yeah. I'm trying to throw the kids in. <laughs> yeah, because how he, he how he grew up right. with his parents. He don't want that for his kids. So let's get back together because I want this. I'm not really worried if you're happy or not. No. I didn't ask that question. No. I just want... This is what I want to do, so... This is what I want, and I want our back kids in. to have both parents in yeah. the household. I don't care if you're smiling. I don't care happy. at all. As long as you're there and the kids see that. Then I'm 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 happy. I'm great. So we can just move <laughs> forward from there. You can just say yes, nod your head, be all that <laughs> that we need in oh, life. Yeah. Oh yeah, because he had mentioned that you know, evil the way he died. Yeah. Life is so short. He said you know they left they shot him and left him in the left alleyway. In the alley. But that's what killers do. They do. They don't care they don't how they deliver kill them. the body to the no, family. No. So when he said that, I was just like, hmm. okay. Yeah. Sad. I mean, it's it's Very really sad, sad because. I just, it's just sad. It's really sad. It's unfortunate. It very much so is. Yeah. Poor evil. Um, but, so, but then the wife is kind of like, because they have a moment. Mm-hmm. She consoles him. She still has love for this guy, oh, of she, course. That's her husband. That is her husband, because he still ain't signed those papers. Yeah. Um, and here comes Chan, just trying to be seen, just trying to be her. That's his girl, though. Talking about, I got kale chips. No one ordered these. She probably did. That's probably her favorite chip. But why you can't just wait in the car and respect their space? That's still her. That's the father of the... Um, Men are very territorial. Oh, territorial. That's He's like, right. she's been in there too long. That's the word right here. It's going to be today. <laughs> yeah, she's been in there too long. The kids are out here. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't even check to see if they're doing something. But I just know that the lady that I'm with yeah. is in there. So with the door there. closed. Mm-hmm. She, was, she was just supposed to drop him off and head and back to the car. Come back in the car, but she went inside, and she didn't speak to me about he going trust, inside. Right. He don't, Chan don't trust her. Because they fought. Yeah. <laughs> and he know that Kojo won't head back, so <laughs> he got his guard up. So Nicholas, um, he's leaving work, and his car won't start, so he calls Auntie Mama, and she, you're trying to lecture him, like, you need but to get your life together. He had a moment. He did have a moment. He had to let it go. One right after the one thing after the other. Yeah. My cousin just died, and now my car acting a fool. Yeah. And on top of the women problems, he gave himself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a lot. It's a Mm -hmm. lot. Promotion, Mm -hmm. all that stuff. Um, And he called Auntie Mama, and she's kind of like, "You used to get your life together. I've been told you to get AAA. You need to act like an adult (laughs) at the end of the day." Mm. And then he goes into his house, and his mama. Is there? Hey, mom. Hey, mom. You, you need to get your son. Yes. Your son is acting a fool out in these streets. Mom? Look at you. You're getting fat. Oh, and so you still have those earrings, eh? And what is that thing you have on your head? It's just a few of the things I expect to hear when I see my mom. I swear she's always been like a tribal ninja. I still remember the first time she spotted me 300 feet away holding half of a white girl in the third grade. You want another white girl? <laughs> he been loving white girls all his life. <laughs> Since he was in the playpen. <laughs> in the sandbox. Okay. He did say he never got with the African chick. Never did. Until the Kim came into his life. Never did. And look how you're treating her. Mm. So then his mom asked him, um, well, how's law school? He's like, it's all right. Because you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> She's asking for elaboration, like, like, what Give me some mean? details right. as to what's going How's on with law school. Um, I'm not there. That's what's going on. <laughs> you trying it. And she went off on him. Yes. Like, I didn't send you over here to be... To play play. But that's all he does. <laughs> Little does she know. That's literally... That's he wakes does. up every day to Just play. play. To that's play with people's mind, play with people's hearts. That's it. Play play all day. <laughs> 
So she's pretty much like, I didn't send you over here to live your life like, you know, evil. Like, what yeah. happened to him? I don't want that I for don't you. want that for you. And she made a, a point of uh, black men getting killed. Like, you, mm-hmm. she don't want him to be like that. And she made a point that you're not like that. Like, Yeah, I didn't raise you that way. You're not an African-American. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure for, like, African people, it's difficult because at home, you're taught to live a certain way, like, as if you're still in Africa. Mm -hmm. But then when you step out that door, everyone else views you as just African-American. Yeah. Like, they don't, until they hear your voice or something like that, you're just black to them. Yeah. And so you're going to be treated exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what it is. I'm sure he's had issues with that all his life. Mm -hmm. Like, but I am African-American, but I'm not. But I'm not, right. (laughs) It's like a thin line. Because he was born here. Right. So he, he's, he's gone an American. But his mom is like, you're No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at the, the wake for Ibu. And, you know, it's like the repast. Mm-hmm. So in comes... Wait, Rasil came. Rasil came. Mm-hmm. So they're best friends again. You yeah. know, he, he was even though we had a little fight. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm still going to be there for you. And another person ends up showing that they're there for uh, Nicholas. It ends up being Ava. And he actually knew who she was. He recognized her. I was surprised. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think he knew who she was. First of all, Ava's very brave to show her face. <sighs> Especially because of what Nicholas had just said about his mom. Yes. <laughs> Being with a white woman. Yes. And here you come with this white woman. So freely. So free, like, hello, this is her. Because he introduced her, um, Ava to his mom and Auntie Mama, like, as this is his my girlfriend. girlfriend. Not like, I was surprised. I'm surprised. I was Nicholas, very surprised. Nicholas would have been like, oh, this is my, my friend. Nicholas he be knows punk. who this girl is. <laughs> this but I, I thought he was going to punk out and say, this is my friend. He's been trying to get with Nakim and been ignoring He don't want Nakim. He don't want Nakim. And now th- this is a team right yeah. here. Yeah. But when he said girlfriend, the mom's face, like, yo, what? She, it switched up so quickly. Come again? <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Mama was nice to her. Yeah. His mom was not mm-mm, here for Ava. Mm-mm. And Ava, Ava with another with her little speech. Oh, I love how the community... I think it's beautiful how your community comes together and, and everyone empathizes. Oh Girl, just say, I'm sorry for your loss. And, and keep, keep it, it pushing. Don't talk no more. <laughs> Keep it short and sweet because you're already almost saying you're welcome oh compared to gosh. like the mom. Mm-mm. Stop. Just stop, Ava. <sighs> so a little later on, um, another person decides to show up. <laughs> um, ends up being <laughs> Nikim. Sweetheart. Oh, uh, the sweetest. The sweetest. He played her twice. And here she is. I'm not really sure why. She's a me. She must have She's- to really tell him, I'm carrying your child. You're about to be a father. And I want my baby to know who his, his family, family is. is. I know that you guys are um, burying one family member. Right. However, in nine months, you'll be welcoming yeah. another family member. So I just want everyone to, just, to know. Let's just kill two birds with one stone. That's it. That's all I'm asking. That's for. it. Of course, the first one that greets her is freaking Ava. So oh, sweet Ava. Um, talking about, oh, I like your dress. Nick's supposed to give me one. I'm his girlfriend. Bada, bada, bada. You're saying his name as if off the top she's supposed to know who that is. What do you mean? Like, she could have been coming in to see someone else in that family. <laughs> right. You're like, Nick, yeah, Nick. I, I mean, always I ask don't him know. that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, she's like, well, I'm his coworker and ex lover. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she did not say that part. <laughs> I'm his coworker. Well, former coworker. I'm like, she quit, but it turns out she's transitioning to the New York office. She is again two through. Yeah, how you have somebody corporate, run you? Corporate is gonna be like enough. <laughs> you she can't was, be transferring back and forth. Back I and don't. Forth. We don't have the coins for that. <laughs> pick, pick. She keeps this making this man. This job not come with a relocation package, ma'am. You signed up for this, okay? Yes. This is going to be the final move. <laughs> this is it for you. But didn't she just come back from the New York office? In both reads that she left, I feel like, because of Nick. Stop. So you Someone know. this boy rule, rule, rule your life. Right? He came out of nowhere. He smooth transitioned right, into this combo. Hey, uh, hello? Hey, um, congratulations. On the baby. Yes. 
was. And it was, like, kind of awkward. It and was. Ava didn't peep game. Ava didn't, you know, she it's, just so in her. Oh, my God. Oh, hello. Stupid. <laughs> so the pastor, you know, he starts preaching, and then he invites Ebo's father yeah. to come. You see these things happening to the black boys on the news. But you don't ever think it will happen to your African son. He raised them here so that they know opportunity, so that they see what access can help you achieve. If I knew this was going to happen to my son, I said we were better off in Ghana. That was emotional because he brought Ibu to America for better opportunities Mm -hmm. and, you know, these opportunities killed him. Like, he, he went on the wrong path. So it's kind of like, why did I even bring him here? Right, right. He, he kind of blames himself. Mm-hmm. Like, if I didn't bring him here, this wouldn't have happened. Right. So he's going to forever blame himself but for his mm-hmm. African son's yeah. Yeah. life mm-hmm. being taken away. And then Nicholas comes up, and he gives a pretty um, emotional yeah. speech. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He, he also says, you know, he also blames himself as well yeah. because... He was so mixed up in what was going on in his personal Selfish. life. Selfish. Chasing women. Being playing selfish, women. Playing actually. women. He's supposed to be a role model to the youth, and you're you're worse than the youth. <laughs> Can't even tie your own tie. Can't even tie your own tie. Um, yeah. The fact that I, I was so caught up in my own world, my, my own selfishness, makes me agree with everything that Uncle Kwamina said. What, why are we even here? Uh, America isn't everything. We, we don't have these problems in Ghana. So, so why are we even here? And that sparked something in him. Because he ran out to go to Ghana. It's more like Wakanda. Wakanda. He wanted to fight. And it was just, it was just too much. Yeah. He <laughs> ran out of there. He did. Because I feel like he just reevaluated his life at this point. Like, Yeah, everything is just like coming towards him like... He just can't handle it. Yeah. And he thinks that it's all due to being in America. Mm-hmm. Like, we need, I need to go to Ghana. No. I'll have peace in Ghana. I mean, I, I, I don't know from an immigrant standpoint, but it's like, you know, you just, it just, ha- life, you know, life happens. Yeah, you don't know what happens. always path. seems greener on the other side mm-hmm. to you. Ibo could have got killed in Ghana. He could have, yeah. Yeah, and maybe not the same, like, ticket scalping, but it could have right. been something been else. could have been anything. Because I feel like he wanted that, like, drive, that, that, that you know, money hungry. Money. Yeah. yeah, that's what mm-hmm. he wanted. He was attracted to that, that yeah. lifestyle. Um, so then Kojo chases him down and is like, you can't blame yourself. Nicholas is just like, I can't deal, you know, I feel lost. And Kojo's like, I know that life. And I, he is the captain. I invented leader that life. Of feeling lost yes. in life. So welcome. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. And we're going to... Help I can't you. give you steps on to how to get out of of the laws. Uh, of the laws. However, you have a team and we're a group. Yes. Yes. That's all I can give we're you. Gonna, we're going to get through it. We're going to try to get through it. Yeah. 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 And, you know, Kojo just gives him some more consoling words and tells him, like, one day at a time. He wants him to say it so he can yeah. believe it. Like, mm-hmm. come on, I want to hear you say it one day at a time. But... No. Nicholas does He's not feeling say it. discouraged. He yeah. really is. Cause not right now. <laughs> no. I can't say that right now. Not right now. Maybe one day, not two day. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Which was that was it's unfortunate. Yeah. Cause like every like we said, everything is like piling on. So So that's how the episode ends, guys. That's how the season ends. So let's quickly get into the QCC. <laughs> Okay, um, do you have any questions? First question is, how many months is Nikem? Uh, I'm going to say she's about six weeks pregnant. Six weeks? Okay, six weeks. About six yeah. weeks. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> about right. Um, However, she's leaving. She's going to New York. She's going to raise this baby on her own. Mm-hmm. Oh, do so you think she is waiting to Waiting tell for him? what? Maybe in season two, we'll see after Or maybe she the the realizes day. that he's not grown up enough to handle being a father mm. and she might not go through with the pregnancy at all. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. That's what she got. 
Ooh. <laughs> um, again, really sad about Evo. It's really, I'm just heartbroken because I really wanted him to change his life around. Yeah. And I, I, I feel like, I'm not saying it's their fault, but they sh- they knew what kind of lifestyle Ibu lived, and they should have kind of kind of did more as to like, listen, no, culture should have been like, no, you staying here, right? Like, there was no discipline because I- Ibu is an adult, so true. I guess they kind of figured he would figure it out on his own. Yeah. But they were both Kojo and um, Nicholas were both in their own little world. Yeah. Like Kojo's trying to convince a woman that don't want him to, to stay in a relationship with yes. him, and yes. Nicholas is over here chasing a woman to the point where he don't chasing want her a anymore. woman that chasing a woman that he don't want <laughs> chasing a woman. Then when he got her, he don't want her, but at the same time he had a full girlfriend. So they were Who's too oblivious. <laughs> Like, at what point, Ava, I haven't heard from my man in weeks. Where is he? <laughs> Ava, girl, wake up. Season two, wake up. I hope she finds out season two. Yeah. Sorry, Nicholas. But knowing Nicholas, his response. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, oh, Yoda. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> he makes me upset. <laughs> Or he might pull how he did in the chem. Like, I mean, you wasn't giving it up, so I had to find it out somewhere. Via text. He mm. won't say that to oh, her. Oh, definitely. Oh. Via text. He Always via text. About the she could be standing face. in front of him. Text I'm texting you. I'm texting you. If you just answer the text message, I just responded. <laughs> you don't have any other questions for me. Thanks. <laughs> oh, man. So do you think that um, Kojo's wife, since they had that moment, you think no. she'll... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No. Not even a little bit? No. They had a moment. That's cute. <laughs> Do you think that she I is considering? I think she's considering. Like, you know, we have a family. We have a family. If, if Kojo get out of the lost world and gets a, a good job, get his green card situation together, I think if she sees that he's going to change... How long is that going to take? <laughs> gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time. But I don't. She, the way she moves, she don't have time. She does not have time because child support needs to be paid. Yeah, I need it in my account. I don't care if you're in between jobs. I don't care if you don't have a job. I need the money. I need the money. I need. But that's money. like crazy. To, not crazy. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I feel like if the guy is there in the children's life. That's not enough, though. Like, but it's not like he's a deadbeat. The only one they supporting were... the kids financially, Chin. But that's not. He Chin's wants a kid. job. He wants a job. <laughs> I think. I don't know what I think. It's it's a messy situation. I don't know, but yeah, I agree. The bills need to get paid. The, bills the kids need to get paid. The kids need groceries. They show, the kids. The kids eat. Okay. You got two of them too. They, two. They had ice to cream. buy ice cream. Yeah. He gave That's them a money. Luxury, he gave right? them money for ice cream. <laughs> but he ain't go check on them. And he's supposed to be there for the kids. Season two. Will the kids be there? Will we see did they come back from ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Goodness. Russell. What about him? Is he gonna leave Tanisha alone? No, that's Bay. <laughs> Tanisha Bay is Bay. That's it. He saw her flirting with someone at the wake. Flirting? That's her. That's her man. That was she her brought a man to a she wake. Brought support. All the support. <laughs> All the support. He no. He really likes her. I think this is. He's trying to settle down with her. I think it's more so just like um like Nicholas getting the somebody chase. the it chase. Was a chase and be, knowing that you have that kind of power over her power like. She she's weak when she's around him. Like but Tanisha? Yes. They were making out. One time, any other time, she was like, boy, bye. No, she plays, she plays. She be flirting with him. <laughs> she play. She play play all day too. Okay. And she knew what she was doing. She was flirting with the guy, the, her boyfriend, while looking at Rasil. Oh yeah. She now that she knew what she, she was doing. She knows what she's doing. And he it's knows all a it game. too. Mm-hmm. It's a game for them too. For it's a game two. for all the people. On oh, here. especially Nicholas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Auntie Mama, I hope her and um, that guy are really going to um, be together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about him. We forgot about him. Did she pass? Did she get the job? What job? 
girlfriend life because he was giving her oh. an interview. <laughs> I Did she like get she the ask, position? She didn't ask him any questions. Mm-mm. It was just him asking her questions. And he just sitting there like, tell me. Tell me, what shouldn't I know? What should I know what should I, that I don't already? What do you want to know? Because we just met. So there's a lot of things you don't know. Of all the questions you could have asked me. <laughs> Favorite color? <laughs> Favorite food? Job? Well, they did talk about job, but... They did talk about job. They children? About children, too. She said that she never had kids. Mm-mm. Does he have kids? Mm, I don't know. Mm. He didn't mention ch- kids. All right. But she better ask that question up front, because... Uh, gotta do your research. Because she didn't do her research with her fiancé. Yeah. She got and to he her went research. swiping. I understand that it's been a while since you've been dating. You know how to use a computer. You However, put up a little profile. And progress can help you. Pro- oh, progress has nothing but time. In this century and this year, you need to be doing your research. You need to be times. asking the questions straight up with these guys. Even, and, even when you know the answer. You still that's, ask. A, that's specifically when you ask the question. Yeah, See if they're going to lie. in your vault, your memory vault. In remember your case. That. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Um, overall, really good show. Oh, I loved it. Really I loved it. Can't wait to see what happens with season two. I like that they tackled different different things. I, it was a very different series, like, to see the heritage standpoint and just the immigrant and just, we don't get a lot of series like this. Yeah, this storyline was very different. Yeah. Which is what we love about web series. Yes. That you don't see this on TV. Exactly. Him telling his story of being a Ghanaian Ghanaian, uh-huh. being a Ghanaian American guy, and you know, at home you live one life, outside you live a different life. Yeah, so, so very it's, relatable. Yeah, it's, yeah, it was a good show. Really good, good job, great guys. job, y'all. So I really hope you know we come back with season two. A lot of our questions, comments, concerns. I hope they're gonna be answered. Mm-hmm. All right, great job. Um, all right, guys. So that's it for um. For this series, Growing Up Immigrant, you guys can check it out on the YouTube link that we'll leave in the description box. Um, be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Seriously Podcast, as well as check out the rest of our episodes on SeriouslyPodcast.com, iTunes, Stitch, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, wherever you find a podcast, you'll find Seriously Podcast. Seriously, you will. All right. What else you got to say to the people? Um, July 14th. July 14th. We're having a a brunch, y'all. Hey, so we recently hit our second year anniversary. Whoop, 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 whoop. So July 14th, we're having a brunch. So if you're in the New York area, follow us on Seriously Podcast um, on Instagram, and we'll have all the information there. And sign up for our mailing list, because you'll get the information there as well. Yes, definitely sign up for our mailing list so you guys know about everything with the Seriously brand. Um, It's a brand, y'all. Just continue to live your lives out here. Definitely, definitely. Live your best life. The best one possible. All right. All right, y'all. Bye. Peace.